Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Brandon Levine again from Corporate Fitness Works at the MasterCard Purchase location. Um, we're here for a 15 minute or so um, abdominal based class. Um, today's class is gonna be strictly lower body based. Um, again, up, uh, abdominal, lower back, um, quads, hip flexors, abductor, adductor. Um, it's gonna be all lower body based abdominals. Um, so again, we're gonna grab a quick stretch in terms of before we get started, stuff you're gonna need, towel, water bottle. As you can see, I got a mat behind me. Um, again, you can use a carpeted floor, wood floor, whatever you want to use in terms of the, the surface. Um, we're going to be on our back for the duration of the class, so just make sure you're relatively comfortable or very comfortable um, just being on your back on that surface. So we're just going to slide back. Um, we're going to grab a quick stretch. You're going to go into one hip to start. Top foot's going to be up. Opposite leg is going to be straight down. Try to keep these knees towards one another. Just going to stretch our quads to start. Again, just pull just a little bit deeper into that stretch. Heel towards your glute. We're going to swing that tame leg, top leg forward. And you're going to pull your knee up. Just going to stretch out our hip flexors just a little bit. We're going to switch. Again, top foot up. Again, for you, you can just flip right over. Opposite hand can be used like we're at the beach because we have to imagine we're going to be at a beach right now. We're relaxing. We're having a good time. Top foot up. Bring both hands in. Drive that knee nice and high. Going to go into a high plank following this one. We're going to stretch our calves and hamstrings. You're going to bridge your hips nice and high. Bring your feet together. And we're going to slowly walk down into a high plank. One foot over another. Drive that heel towards the floor. You can bridge your hips a little bit just to get a little bit deeper into that stretch. And switch. And we're going to go both feet down. And slowly walk your hands just one step in. Take a nice deep breath. Bridge those hips. Taking in another one. Nice big deep breath. And last one in. Should be at full extension. Deep breath up to the top. Nice big deep stretch to the top. Okay, it's gonna be 45 second cycles what we're gonna work on today. It's gonna be 15 seconds off and then we'll introduce the next exercise. So it's gonna be six exercises for the first set. Then you're getting about a 90 second, two minute rest. So 45 seconds on, 15 seconds to kind of rest, deep breath, stretch, and introduce the next exercise. And then it'll be 45 seconds on. So it's gonna be six minutes straight Two minutes of rest, and then we're gonna have a second cycle of totally different exercise. Then we're gonna have, I don't mean to tip you off on what's later, but we will have a burnout exercise that's gonna burn you out at the end of this. So about 15 seconds away, first exercise is gonna be straight leg, full sit-ups. So legs at full extension, arms are gonna be at full extension throughout. We're looking for one, two, three on the way up. One, two, three on the way down. So same pace on the way up as the way down. We're on in four. Again, make sure you have plenty of room. Three, two, and go, 45 seconds. Again, big cues for this one. Make sure our legs are not coming up unless we need to. Again, if you have tight hamstrings, tight lower back, same exercise, except just coming up to knee height. Even if you're even a little tighter, same exercise in just a crunch formation. Otherwise, legs straight. Keep those calves and hamstrings on the mat the whole time. Great job. Again, keep everything as straight as you can. Elongate your spine as best you can. If you haven't noticed, I got a new tripod. So hopefully this view is really helping all you guys out. I, I know we got a couple comments and questions on that. So hopefully everything's just a little bit more accommodating legs based. 10 seconds left. Great job. Good and relax, 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 relax. We're gonna go into a bicycle crunch from here. So about 15 seconds, I'm just gonna sync my clock. So again, opposite knee to elbow. Under 10 seconds, get into your position, deep breath. Again, we're coming to full extension for this one. For 45 seconds, we cannot be on a dead sprint. We're on in three, two, one, and go. Come to full extension. Make sure we're swiveling. Try to get that elbow to the opposite knee, all the way to the outside. Come to full extension. Shoulders up the whole time. If you need to, leg can be on the floor if you need to modify. Take your time. Otherwise, we're pumping this one out. Last 30. Make sure you're coming across your body. Bring that knee nice and in. Make sure we're working those lower abdominals. Come across your body. 20. 45 seconds is a lot longer than you expect. I understand that. Let's go, let's go. You got four exercises following this one for this circuit. And let's really work it out. Last 10. Great job. Four, three, two, one, and relax. 15. It's gonna be a little bit longer. For the rest on this one, because my clock got unsynced for some reason, we're going to go into an ab roll up. Okay, this will be probably the hardest one for this first circuit. What we're gonna do, we're gonna swivel back, 
knees all the way up. You're gonna finish in almost that Russian twist position. Feet hopefully don't hit the floor. Come all the way back, knees up, and perfect posture at the top. So make sure we're not leaning too far back. Bring your chest forward. Three, two, and go. Knees up, patient at the top. You can do whatever you want with your hands at the top. If you need to, feet down, hands down. First modification would be feet down. Otherwise, if you need to, everything down, take your time. Come as high up as you can there. Good posture at the top. Good, 25 seconds left. We're flying through this, come on. Good posture. Don't mind me with my hands, I just like to go out every single time. Last 15, a little bit faster now. Good posture. Every single time, come as upright as you can. Five, three, two, one, and relax, 15 seconds. For those that are counting, three exercises left in this set. We got Russian twist, so you're gonna finish in that seated position we just ended on. Six seconds, again, Russian twist. Feet up, side to side. I wanna look behind me every single time. Three, two, and go. Keep your legs stationary. I wanna look behind me every time. In terms of modifications, heels down, same touch. If you want this harder, straight arm every single time, touching behind you, keep those legs stationary. Make sure we are not leaning too far back for this one. Again, touching side to side, 20. Two exercises left beyond this. Keep those legs stationary, a little faster now. Let's go last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Big deep breath. You're gonna finish with your legs straight. Deep breaths, 10 seconds. We get oblique touches. So legs will be up. You're reaching to your knee on the one side. Hands are tracking on the outside of your hip the whole time. Three, two, and go. Reach and alternating side to side. If you need to do anything, heels on the floor. No problem. Touching side to side. Otherwise, heels up. If you need to, even further, we can just go side to side a little bit higher in terms of that middle modification. So hardest, middle, easiest heels on the floor. Still reaching, same principles. The big thing for this one, do not tuck your chin in. Head and neck neutral. Take a look at your pretty ceilings. Last 12. A little bit faster now, reach even further. Every time you're at your furthest point, squeeze your obliques, squeeze your abs. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Last one of this set. We're going for a quick crunch. Legs in the air, elbows to knees. This should be the easiest one for this set in terms of principles. So again, legs neutral, elbows up, 45 seconds. The goal is to get 50 reps. Three, two, and go. Again, if you're getting 60, that's tremendous. If you're getting 70, good for you. Go ahead, a little bit faster every time. So head and neck are never touching, shoulders touch, straight back up. We do not want our legs swiveling for this one. Legs stationary, you come on up. Let's go. You are at your halfway mark right now. So whatever you have right now in your count, double it. More than double every single time. That back half should be much faster. Let's go, last 15, get them up, quick. You got rest after this one. 10. Push it, push it, push it. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Great job. Rest time. Water time. Deep breath. Good job so far. Hopefully it's beautiful weather where you're at. It's about... 60 degrees outside, it's beautiful. So again, what I did before this, went for a quick two mile jog, came in here, doing the class, and I'll be basing my workout for the day. Again, you can flip flop that. Again, if you wanna go through this couplet one more time, so it's six exercises, you can just run this video back or you can just do it on your own. Again, the exercise explanations will be on PT Minder as well. So if you don't wanna to listen to me or look at my ugly mug, you can just go through the exercises on your own. About 30 seconds. Again, we're still on our back. It's gonna be the similar then that, similar to what the uh, first exercise, first sets was in terms of the exercise, except they're gonna be a little harder and a little couple tweaks here and there. So the second set is gonna be a bit harder. We're on about, let's go 15 seconds. Okay, you're gonna be onto your back. 
legs wide. We're going to a side to side sit up now. So same principles we went over with that straight leg sit up. You're now gonna come wide with your legs. We're gonna come up to one side, three, two, one. And then out to the other. We're on in three, alternating sides, two, and go. Touch one side, three seconds. One, two, three, arms straight. One, two, three, again. As we talked about in the first one, if you need knees bent, same principles. Come up, touch your knee, out to the back. Every single time, squeeze your abs, squeeze your obliques, engage your core every single time. If you're doing the straight leg one that I'm doing, keep your calves, keep your hamstrings on the mat as best you can. Point your toes back at you. 15. Great job. Got five exercises following this one. Five seconds. Great job. Can we push it for the last three? Two, one, and relax. Great job. So again, in the first one, we did a bicycle crunch. We're now going into a straight leg bicycle crunch. Okay, so again, be a much more difficult one. We're going opposite hand to foot. Again, feet never hit the floor. Three, two, and go. 45 seconds. Again, for 45 seconds, we can't go at a crazy pace the whole time. So pace it out. Get to that 70 to 80 percentile. Head and neck neutral. If you need to modify, feet hit the floor, come up and touch. If you need to, space them out like so. Otherwise, you're free flowing the whole time. 22, halfway. 22 doesn't sound right, but it's halfway. Reach every single time. Squeeze your abs every single time. Pump it out a little faster for the last 10. Let's go, let's go. Four exercises left. Plus bonus, don't forget about that. Three, two, and relax. 15 seconds. Four exercises left for this set. We're going into that reverse crunch. So again, we did kind of that roll up to start. Now you're gonna have that reverse crunch. Legs towards you, all the way up towards the ceiling. Every single time, think about how high you can get your legs. Three, two, and go. Keep your feet together throughout. Knees tucked in towards one another. If you need to modify, heels to the floor at the bottom. Deep breath. If you need to modify further, hands under your glutes, same movement pattern. Every time your legs are up, think about driving high towards the ceiling. Spend as little time in each spot as possible. Quick, quick, quick. And explode every single time. 15. Three exercises left. Great job, last 10. We're gonna finish on our butt. So you need to a seated position, five. Push it for the last three, two, and relax. Great job. Deep breath. 12. Unfortunately, we have suitcases coming up. So if you've done this one in our classes before, again, it's going to be that Russian twist, harder variation. Hands can be on the floor. Heels can be on the floor. Three. Extend your legs out. Two. And you're going to extend them out. Bring them in if you need to. Hands under shins. Otherwise, we're pumping it out. If you need to, heels to the floor. Bring them in. Bring them out. If you need to even further, heels to the floor, hands behind you. Make sure we are not leaning too far back to this one. Good posture. Pump it out. Again, I like to do crazy stuff with my arms, so don't mind me. Halfway. Same pace on the way in as the way up every single time. 15. Again, make sure we're not deviating. Make sure we're not falling too far back. Keep good posture throughout. Five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Last two. We are almost there. Legs are going to be high and wide for this next one. Okay, we did that cross crunch where you kind of reach on the side of your hips. We're now coming up to the top. Same principles. Three, legs straight and high. Two, and go. You're coming side to side. Again, we are not tucking our chin in. Keep your legs still. Looking for pace on this one, so a little bit quicker. Keep your legs still. We shouldn't be flopping side to side. Keep everything as stationary as you can. Touch. Again, if you need to, just a knee height. Keep it moving. Great job. Keep it moving. Last 15. Squeeze, squeeze, tight. Keep your legs still. Suck your belly button in as tight as you can. Six. Last exercise coming up. Three, two, and relax. Legs down. Shake it out. 
We got a cross crunch. So we did that kind of quick crunch, right knee to right elbow, left knee to left, left elbow. We're now going across our body. So every single time, cross crunch. Again, the goal was 50 last time. Let's get it up to 60. Three, two, and go. Cross your body. Shoulders touch, opposite. Legs do not move. Tighten those abs. Head towards the ceiling. As soon as you hit the mat, straight up. Quick. Spend as little time in each spot as necessary. Quick, 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 quick. We're working hard. Last half, 22. Should be around 30 reps. Get that elbow up. Not just your hand. Get elbow every single time. 10. Great job. We got bonus time coming up. Uh-oh. Three, two, and relax. You're done with your two couplets or exercise routines for the day. It is burnout time. Okay? You're going to finish in a leg extension. Same 15 seconds of rest. So we're on in six seconds. I'm not telling you how long this exercise is going to be because this is going to ruin your day a little bit. Leg extension hold in three, two, and hold. Head up six inches. Legs up six inches. Hands on your glutes as needed. Again, we are not tucking our chin. Stay neutral, stay relaxed. I can't tell you how long we're going to go for. We're going to do some different exercises along the way. We're going for flutter kicks in three, two, and flutter. So again, just point your toes back towards you. Stay as relaxed as you can. Hands on your glutes if you need. If you need to, you can go heels onto the floor. That's no problem at all. 10 seconds. Then we change the exercise. We're not done yet. We're not at that point. We're going for a crisscross. So wet one leg over the top. Three, two, and over the top. It's going to be 20 seconds per variation. If you're not great at math, we're going to a minute right now at the finish of this one. Eight seconds. We're going for two minutes total. Oh, I told you the amount of time. Three. We're going big now. Two. And big flutter. Again, if you need to, heels to the floor. Otherwise, keep it free flowing. Looking to open up that gate just a little bit. Ten. Two variations left. We're going for obliques, abductors, three, two, and both feet wide, both feet in, they don't touch in the middle, and go. You're going to finish with a stationary hold. Again, quads, hip flexors, they should be burning. Six seconds, you're going to finish on the hold, three, two, and hold, stationary, head up, legs up, six inches. Deep breath, suck your belly button. If you want it a little bit harder, I'll punch those abs at this point. 10 seconds. Let's go, come on. Last six, five, four, we're still going. I know we're doing a countdown. Three, two, and relax. Great job. Deep breaths. Again, we just finished. Bring your arms to full extension. Let's go with three deep breaths. Inhale, nice and big. Exhale, last one. Bring your knees towards you. Again, keep those knees tracking towards one another. And we're just going to go side to side, just nice and easy. Keep dig digging just a little bit deeper in that stretch, so bring your knees towards you. We're going to straighten those legs out. Pull back on your calves and hamstrings. Point your toes back towards you. Again, just somewhat side to side, nice and easy. Nice deep breaths. Deep breath in. Bring your legs towards you. Blow out. Come up into our butterfly. Elbows pushing your knees down. Okay, so that was just about 20 minutes. Okay, with breaks and whatnot. So again, three to one on your rip to rest ratio for today in terms of 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. And then that two minute burnout. Let's go one in, one out. Reach out with the one leg. Opposite elbow, pushing that knee down. And switch. Again, quads, hip flexors, abductor. Everything should be a little tight. We're gonna go this leg that we just weren't using, bring it towards you. Again, just slowly, progressively bring it just a little bit deeper and a little closer toward you. Same knee that we have in, you're gonna put it on the floor. Opposite elbow to knee. Twist and look behind you. Again, still spacing out those deep breaths. And again, still getting a little deeper 
into our stretch. And switch, opposite knee towards you. Still work on bringing those toes just a little bit towards you. So we're stretching out our calf, foot on the floor, opposite knee to elbow, and twist. Good, nice deep breath. Reach all the way straight. Deep breath in. And blow out, reach to the top. And great job today, guys. Again, if you're following along with me, that's just about 20 minutes on um, three to one on a work to rest ratio. Again, if you want to double this up, you can double it up. If you want to triple it up, go on. Um, if you want to go for a run before or after, again, this can really just use it as your primary workout. Next week when I meet with you guys or when you meet with me, should I say, it's going to be upper body based abdominals. So again, all high and low plank based stuff um, to really burn out. Again, our chest, shoulders, triceps, abs, 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 abs. I know. Um, so again, um, hopefully you're staying safe. Hope, hope everybody's having a, a good time spending time with their family and whatnot. Make sure you're looking out for our weekly calendars with all the class schedules, uh, fun motivational stuff that we're doing on the side. Um, follow along with us. Send us likes, comments, questions, concerns, all the above. Um, we are here for you along the way. So um, enjoy. Have a good rest of your day.